Good morning, Prime family. I hope everybody's having an amazing day today. Today is March the 20th. That means we are getting very close to the end of the month and very close to the end of the first quarter here at Prime AC. And just looking back at the beginning of this whole year, we just I'm just so thankful and so blessed to have customers that continue to trust our company to provide them the services that they're looking for. So blessed and thankful to have new faces here at the company, technicians, office personnel, installers, all with the common goal to providing the very best service to our customers. And uh, I'm just so excited for what the rest of the year is gonna bring for our customers and for everybody here that's part of this company. Today, we have another busy day, just octane level busy, okay? Um, today we have three different types of AC units that we're gonna be installing. We have a Samsung, we have a Ream, and we have an Amana. Three different types of AC units, heat pump, uh, gas, and single stage equipment. We're also gonna be uh, on those three systems. They are all different types of refrigerant. We have a R32, which is the Amana. We have a 454B, which is the Ream. Now that is our very first 454B A2 O refrigerant that we're gonna be installing um, in the year. Uh, again, you guys know we, we primarily install Amana, which is using R32. And then we're also gonna be installing the Samsung Hilux. Now you guys seen those videos in the past. That Samsung Hilux still utilizes 410A refrigerant. So very interesting day today. Three different types of install. Tag along with me. I'm gonna go job site to job site and kind of show you um, the guys, show you the equipment. And I hope you enjoy this video. All right, Prime family, let's get some work. All right, the very first job that we're gonna go take a look at is here in Louisville, Texas. This is gonna be the Amana R32 gas system. This is a 17 sear side discharge inverter system. You guys know this, this is what we are specialized in. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it. We're gonna meet the installers and see how they are starting to uh, remove and get everything installed. All right, let's go check it out. Prime family, we're up here in the attic. Mr. Alex, how are you, sir? What's going on, Prime family? Yes, sir. So this is the first job we're starting here today. We're going to be doing the R32. Now, remember, this is a gas furnace. So the guys are going to remove the plenums, the furnace, the coils, the supply. Um, see how this unit is being held on by straps. Obviously, you guys know we're going to use the hung right kit. And um, yeah, we're going to get this system removed here. Alex, how's the, how's the job looking so far? Oh, it's not too bad. Not it's too not bad? Not too bad, yeah. Good so, deal, man. Good pretty smooth. Hey, you've been, uh, yesterday we did the the five tone with four zones. Yes, that was sir. your Amana S series with four zones. Yeah. Came out really good. Yeah. Customer yeah. was happy and yes, uh, man, you guys did a great job, man. Yes, sir, thank you, thank you. All right, um, I, had a, I have to head over to the next one and, and take a look at it. I just want to come by and say hi and see how everything's yes, coming, sir. man. Yeah, yeah. Thank we'll you. Get to it. Yes, yes, sir. Guys, so I'm out here with Alex, aka Little Goat, because he's the greatest of all time, guys. So he focuses on the outdoor equipment here for us. We just removed this carrier unit over there, which had a bad compressor. That's why we we're replacing the system. Give the option to the customer for either trying to repair it, maybe do a little bit of replacement, like half coil and condenser, or just the condenser by itself. Or we gave him the option just to hit the reset and install the Amana S series, which is, uh, remember, high efficiency inverter system, amazing warranties that come with these units, and they're super quiet. That was one of the main factors too, that they went with this option because that carrier unit that they had back here, every time that it started up, it was very loud. Every time that it shut off, the compressor would just make like a huge clanking noise. Um, and they said, man, that was the loudest unit in the neighborhood here. So I know that they're going to enjoy this system. Remember, it is as quiet as 45 decibels. This thing is super quiet. But Little Goat's going to take care of them, yes, a.k.a. Alex. And uh, Alex, I got to um, head on to the next job site. Like I said, we're doing three different types of systems. We're doing an R32S series. A uh, Samsung Hilux 410A, and then we have the Ream 454B that we're doing later on this afternoon. But uh, thank you very much, Alex. You're doing okay. a great job. I'll see you uh, later on in the day, okay? All right. All right, guys, let's head on to the next one. All right.
right guys, so that was team one. That was here in Louisville, Texas. Now we're gonna start our drive uh, down to Irving, Texas. That's where we're headed to next. That's where the second team is doing the Samsung Hilux. So let's make the drive and we'll see you there shortly. All right, check it out. Came back to the shop. Who am I picking up with me? The designer himself for the Samsung Hilux or <laughs> Hilux. What do you call him? Hilux. I don't know why we need 19 feet of electrical wire and whip, but why do we need 19 feet, Morgan? No All right, guys, we're gonna head up to Irving now and let's go take a look at those Samsung Hilux. All right, we just made it here to Irving. Let's take a look at the Samsung Hiluxes. Good morning. All right, guys, so here's the Samsung Hiluxes we're doing too. Christian, how's it going, sir? Good. It's good? You got some energy from yesterday? Yes? Good. Super. Power. That's right. All right, guys, so check it out. So this is the Samsung Hilux. This is a dual fuel side discharge. It's a heat pump, inverter, super quiet, 17 and a half sear unit, and it has 410A still in, um, in usage. So if you are looking to upgrade your AC unit but don't want to fully replace it with a new A2L refrigerant and have to change everything, this is still a really great option in the year 2025. Morgan, what was the uh, situation here um, on why we had to get these units replaced, by the way? So when I came out here, the thermostats, they were they were like glitching mm. and going off and on. And then uh, I went up into the attic and everything, uh, the, the fuse kept popping when I went or when I tried to make the outdoor condensers come on. Okay. And then I tested out the compressors on the units out here. And the compressors were grounded. They're grounded out here yep. and tripping the breakers out here. Nice. And so, but up in up in the attic, the fan motor still worked. So the customer elected just to do the outside units and just replace those. That's a great option, you know. And uh, you know, we've had a lot of storms that came in over the last couple of weeks. I mean, we've had tornadoes, we've had sandstorms, thunderstorms. I mean, all kinds of weather. So it's been a pretty. Um, this hasn't been a very fun month. For storms but this again is a really great option with the new inverter system the system's gonna be super quiet and one thing that we install on every system especially the inverters is our surge protection here guys this will at least help add another layer of protection in case we have any kind of electrical uh, surges in the house so this is it this is the Samsung Hilux we got a five ton and a three ton um, the five ton is definitely a little bit taller here, but looking good. Next project we have to go look at and pick up is gonna be the 454 Ream heat pump single stage. So I was telling everybody we're doing the three types of systems today and three types of refrigerants. So interesting day here, guys. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Let me show you a little bit of B-roll on the Samsung Hilux and then we'll head on to the next one. so we are back in the shop we got now the third unit we're loading up here mr alfredo yes sir what's up man not much another beautiful day in dallas that's right man so i saw you got the ream this is the 454 yes sir so this is the third job that we're doing today and uh, we got some deliveries of some more samsung we just got our new samsung units in here and uh anyways this is the third one this is 454 this is the a2l with the model number AY, that that lets us know that it's the new A12 refrigerant. So excited to see how this one comes out. And uh, yeah, the guys, once they finish the uh, Samsung job, they're gonna head up to this one. So let's go ahead and go to the job site and I'll show you guys how that looks. All right, what's up boss lady? Hi. How are you? Good. Are we doing a good job out here today? No, absolutely not. Turn that. <laughs> Just like that, we're at the job site and we're about to replace this little heat pump unit right here. We're gonna go back with the Ream A2L 454B. This is a heat pump. Now the great thing about these Ream units is that they are two stage in the heat pump category. So this customer is gonna get a much better uh, heating unit and AC unit um, compared to just a single stage unit. But here it is. Let's go ahead and start unloading it.
check it out. This is the new A2L green heat pump. This uses 454B refrigerant. Like we know that because they give us these nice little stickers here indicating what type of refrigerant is. We got our flame indicator and this is our A2L refrigeration safety group sticker that's down here. And you'll also know it because it has the red caps here. Every A2L refrigerant uh, system comes with these little red caps indicating it. And they have stickers everywhere letting you know the type of refrigerant, the hazard system, the flammability, risk of fire, because remember these A2L systems are slightly flammable in the right conditions, but very safe equipment as well, as long as you have the proper tools, proper training, and proper installation uh, procedures. But they all look the same still. This ring unit still looks like the old ones, the only one. The difference, or the only difference on this one again, is that this is a two-stage. Uh, this is our entry-level equipment, but even on the entry-level, you get a two-stage unit on the ream option. So, awesome unit. Hi, Prime family. So I'm back here in Irving. We got the two Samsung units. We got the five ton. That thing is up and running. I know you hear the vacuum in the background, but check this out. Look how quiet this thing is. It's an amazing unit. 17 series side discharge, dual fuel heat pump. That's the Samsung, and this one has 410A. We're almost wrapped up with the small one, the three ton. Morgan has can, uh, is still here. <laughs> Isaac's working on the electrical right now. We're dropping our vacuum. And uh, next stop is I'm gonna head back over to Louisville, take a look at that S-Series R32. And then the guys are finishing up that Ream 454B uh, 14 series single stage. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far. Morgan, thanks for uh, tagging along today. Appreciate all the help, man. And uh, all right, guys, let's go to the next one and see how that's coming along. All right, and I'm back here at Louisville. Guess who's here with me? What's going on? What's Mr. going Carter. on? Mr. Carter. Mr. Carter, he's out here finishing the uh, walkthrough in the Amana S Series R32. If y'all remember, this was the carrier that we pulled out earlier in the morning. And check it out, the guys did such an amazing job. We did not do a concrete pad because this thing is already had a very sturdy slab but we did bolt it down and uh, if you can tell very slim profile the customers already heard it and they cannot believe how quiet this unit is remember the s series r32 a mana system goes as low as 45 decibels whoa this thing is whisper quiet look at the guys we installed our surge protector our disconnect box this thing is ready for city inspection um what do you think mr carter how Man, did it come out listen this thing came out amazing. Yep. Customers loved it. They're blown away by it. Yep. Hey, can't ask for anything better. All right. Well, let's go up there. Let's take a look at how the indoor unit came out. And then, guys, I got to head over to the other Louisville call where the guys are finishing up that Ream R454. But first, let's hop up in the attic and take a look. All right. So we're up here in the attic. And actually, let me flip the camera around because quality doesn't look so good let me flip it around real quick all right guys we're back we're up here and i want y'all to take a look at this install we are in the attic notice that these r32 units come with a model and serial number that tells you everything about it but take a look at this plumbing we do it the prime way we always plumb around the secondary to make sure that that drain pan is the last line of defense okay easy trap here we're on a hang right kit man it's amazing there look at all these nice crisp lines that the guys did okay that's attention to detail even with the wiring there got our sediment trap ready okay of course you know who all right with the filter easy to access very serviceable nothing's in the way and then i just like to pay attention to nice lines again guys all on the top here with the mastic making this thing look like a masterpiece boss what do you think man i'm very happy with it great install like always couldn't be happier with it the guys did a great job the weather is great to be installing it's not super hot not super cold but this weekend coming up we're gonna be in the high 85 degrees man so we are slowly creeping up to the to the spring summer months but uh great job guys and great job um out here man managing them 
Guys, I'm going to head over to the last job of the day. It's not too far from here in Louisville as well, where the guys are going to be installing that Ream R454. I hope you continue to enjoy this video. Let's catch that last job for the day. All right, All right. so we're back here. As you can tell, the sun has set a little bit. We already have the condenser in place. The guys right now, they're about to flow some nitrogen, and they're going to start to braise that copper. Now, this installation is still the same like we have been doing it for... A millennial right we still use nitrogen to braise we're still using oxygen and acetylene uh, we have not gone to pro press I know there's a lot of companies and contractors that have gone into the pro press um, instead of soldering which is still a really good solution we've actually been to a couple of trade shows where we've seen it we have tested it we just haven't made that change yet we're still using oxygen and acetylene to solder all of our copper connections so that's what the guys are about to do right now but it's looking really good this a2l refrigerant um, system again looks the same components aren't saved the only difference is um, the refrigerant that's inside of it and how it was actually uh, designed um, and built to operate on those new types of refrigerants but the uh, Christian and the team is doing a really great job I like how it came out we got a new concrete pad we got our gravel and it looks really really good so let's go up to the attic let's take a peek on how that indoor unit is looking now all right so we're up here in the attic and the guys are still working they're adjusting the copper they're about to flush the line set so we use rx flush and then we're going to purge it with nitrogen that's to ensure that we remove any kind of uh, residue any kind of oils or old refrigerant that was inside of these lines so that we can reuse them again and then we're gonna shoot it with nitrogen, make sure everything is nice and clear, and they're gonna braise it. And that is it on that part of it, but not a lot of space in this attic up here. But here's the uh, air handler in the back. We got it on a hung right kit. We still have to put the drain line, uh, the drain pan, um, and we still have to do the electrical. So the disconnect, so the guys have a, a good amount of time here, but I think Carter is coming back over here and hopefully he'll finish this job out like always. Um, and that's it guys. That was it for the day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that you got to see a little bit on the day-to-day -day what we go through here at Prime AC and Heat. Our team works very hard every single day to ensure that we're providing comfort to all of our customers. And today was no exception. Three types of systems, three types of refrigerants, and three types of installations. And the guys did an amazing job. So thank you guys. All right. And uh, like always, Prime family, we'll catch you on the next one. All right, before I get out of here, guys, one last thing. We got, look who showed up again, Mr. Carter. What's I just saw on? you. I didn't, I just saw you. You watch Drug Muzzy? Yeah. Instant transmission. We That's in it, boys. <laughs> uh, Carter's going to finish doing the quality control here. He's just making sure uh, that the wiring is correct, guys. See, now, if you're an installer, if you're a, uh, a technician, and you do not read your manual, how are you doing this? How are you doing this? Anyways. He's going to finish this up. They're about to solder. They're about to um, pressure test it. Guys, I'm speaking too long. It's been too long of a day. I hope you enjoyed this video. All right, I got to get out. We'll see you tomorrow.